Right. They, they want, want this. They want this to be a Christmas. Uh, I have the same. I have the same. I have the same thing. I told her no. Where's our tablet? We were going to have it. I told her no. Don't need it. Full board, full board, da da whatever. You're going to get a tablet. Yeah, that's all better than that. I told her no. So. Don't need it. Looking for free oil washers. That's all it is. Yeah, they just want something free. Right, we're going. The tablets are good. They can go get them We'll be starting shortly. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in.
Oh, that was what I shared with you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. God bless you all. God, bless. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Oh, you bless my soul. I just love it when we all come together like that. God's word says, what a blessing it is for the brethren to dwell in unity. So I want to welcome everyone, Osceola, St. Cloud, Point Siena, and Point Siena North to our live stream chapel service. If you could just join with me as we start off in prayer. Bow your heads and close your eyes, please. Father God, it's in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we come before you today. Father, we just thank you, Father, because you are an awesome God. You love us so much. And Father, your mercy endures forever. Father, right now, we just ask for your Holy Spirit to be upon this place, Lord God, as we come together to worship you, to glorify you and honor you in all ways. Father, just have your way with this service today. Father, we pray for those in the world. We pray for our families. We pray for this ministry. And we just thank you, Lord God, for all that you've done for us, all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us. Thank you for life. Thank you for our strength. Thank you for your mercy that endures forever. Father, be with us this day as we glorify your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. If you can all join me and stand up as we do the Pledges of Allegiance, starting with the American flag. For my little ones, you know to place your hands over your heart and repeat after me or with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Now, Mr. Bowen, with the announcements for today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We miss you guys so, so much. And we thank you for all being here with us, at least virtually today. Um, couple announcements. Uh, make sure you get your package, um, packages, contact your teachers. Um, also, uh, we got some other things besides just books in your packages. So um, make sure you pick it up. Report cards may be one of them. So everybody's report card should be printed out and ready. So make sure you get that. And I'm all sure all of you that it's going to be a time of celebration because you guys work so hard and do such a good job. Also, next Friday, not this Friday, next Friday, there's no school as that's Good Friday. So you can start planning ahead of time as that's a day we can think about this very important time of the year. Um, we also got other wonderful things in the works to make things even better for you guys. And we're planning every day and we'll have those announcements going out through your teachers and through our communication. Uh, before I uh, turn it over to our special performance, I want to talk to you about you. There's something that every one of you guys can do to keep yourself healthy. Uh, our God made our bodies absolutely amazing. If you get a cut on your finger, it will heal up all by itself, but you have a job to do to make sure that stays clean. Well, God made our bodies protect us from getting sick, or if we do get sick, it'll heal itself. But you got to do your job too. One of the things you need to do is get lots of rest. Your body does most of its healing when it's sleeping. So 
when you're make sure you're not staying up until 10 11 o'clock at night every night playing video games or watching movies make sure you give your body plenty of rest also drink lots of water water is the best liquid to put in your body if you drink a lot of sugary drinks like soda or kool-aid the sugar actually works against your immune system and can make it make you less healthy eat lots of fruits and vegetables if you're not a fruit and vegetable eater try a new one each week try to see which one you like maybe you never ate zucchini or carrots or but you like apples apple a day keeps the doctor away <laughs> bananas oranges full of vitamins your body needs those vitamins to protect you so and the last thing is get lots of exercise if you haven't seen the video by coach baldwin i recommend watching it but you should break a sweat at least four days a week you're unlike other creatures that god created our body sweats through its skin and that's good for us where other animals have to pant to be able to cool itself off. That sweating is natural. You also, you need to get your exercise on a daily basis of about 30 minutes. And if you, you know, if you watch the video Mr. Baldwin has, he gave lots of good examples of what you can do right in your home. But there are also things you can do like going outside mowing the grass or helping your parents around the chores around the house. Find, be creative. The big thing is you want to get your heart rate up, breathe a little bit harder and break a sweat. At this time, we have a very special performance from one of our students from Poinciana North Campus. And we're going to go ahead right now and we're going to share and, 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 and worship as we watch this performance. Now we're going to read the story of Jesus' crucifixion. Uh, for those of you at home, it's going to be Matthew 28, starting in verse 32. Along the way, they came across a man named Simon, who was from Cyrene, and the soldiers forced him to carry Jesus' cross. And they went out to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull. The soldiers gave Jesus wine mixed with bitter gall, but when he tasted it, he refused to drink it. After they had nailed him to the cross, the soldiers gambled for his clothes by throwing dice. They sat around and kept guard as he hung there. A sign was fastened above Jesus' head, announcing the charge against him. It read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. 
The people passing by shouted abuse, shaking their heads in mockery. Look at you now, they yelled at him. You said you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Well then, if you are the Son of God, save yourself and come down from the cross. The leading priests, teachers of religious law, and the elders also mocked Jesus. He saved others, they scoffed, but he can't save himself. So he is the king of Israel, is he? Let him come down from the cross right now, and we will believe in him. He trusted God, so let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. Even the revolutionaries who were crucified with him ridiculed him in the same way. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. At about three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Yama Shabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Some, by, some of the bystanders misunderstood and thought he was calling for the prophet Elijah. One of them ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, holding it up to him on a reed stick so he could drink. But the rest said, Wait, let's see whether Elijah comes to say this, to save him. Then Jesus shouted out again, and he released his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, rocks split apart, and tombs opened. The body of, bodies of many godly men and women who had died were raised up from the dead. They left the cemetery after Jesus' resurrection, went into the holy city of Jerusalem, and appeared to many people. The Roman officer and the other soldiers at the crucifixion were terrified by the earthquakes and all that had happened. They said, This man truly was the Son of God. And many women who had come from Galilee with Jesus to care for him were watching from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of James and John, the sons of Zebedee. All right, thank you, Mr. Whiteacre. Woo, that's so much to unpack right there. I think we're just going to live stream and run chapel all the way to about 5, 6 o'clock tonight. There is so much in there to unpack. But let's review from last week and over the whole, all the years, okay, those five most important or greatest things that ever happened or will happen. What are they? Creation. Christmas, the birth of who? Jesus. Then, what happens next? What's number three? Crucifixion. Whose crucifixion? Then his resurrection. resurrection. And the one that hasn't come yet, the one that hasn't happened, is coming again. And what do we do? What do we do when we say, Jesus is coming again? Woohoo! Woo yeah, that's right. That's my sound. Okay? And that's super, super exciting. But what we just read is a story of Jesus' crucifixion. Very sad. Lots of mockery. Horrible things happened. Just stop and think about that. Mr. Baldwin just shared one of the announcements that next week, Friday, we're closed. Why? For Good Friday? Well, that's the day Jesus died. How good is that? Well, what we're going to talk about and what I really want us to think about right now as we, as we continue to celebrate Easter is it is good. In fact, I'd want to say it's great and amazing and awesome. But after thinking about this story, what's good about it, what's great or what's awesome about it is not what happened to Jesus. It's that he went through that. He did that. For you, Amen. and me, and us, and the whole world. I can go back to John 3, 16 and talk about that. For God so loved the world that he what? He gave. He gave his son when? On Good Friday. That's what makes it good. Is that Jesus' death, death was a gift to us. So remember those five things. 
And I want to jump right into a couple of other little points and kind of kind of just uncover or or unravel or open up this the good part of what makes Good Friday so excellent and awesome. The first thing is this. We've got the whole Bible. And I know we get scripture in our math books, and we get scripture in all of our other pace books, and we're doing devotions and we're reading all these stories. But you know, all the way back here at the beginning, some, some say it was well over 2,000 years before Good Friday, God gave a promise to Abraham in Genesis 12. And he said, God said to Abraham, all the nations of the world are going to be blessed through you. So all the way back to the beginning of this book and these 2,000 years between here and here, okay, God was already promising to send Jesus. The blessing was not more cows, like they had money back. They didn't really have money back then. They had cows and goats and sheep. Well, now we have money and a bank account, and we think blessing means more in our bank account. But the God's promise to Abraham some 2,000 years before Good Friday was that all the nations will be blessed through you, meaning Jesus. The second thing I want to talk to you about is why in the world did Jesus have to do this? Why'd he die? Well, it says, again, all the way from the beginning to the end of this book, this is a message of how much God loves us. This is God's love letter, if you will, to us. And Good Friday and what Jesus did is the climax of how much he loved us. Again, John 3, 16, I'll remind you. But throughout this book, throughout everything that we read, we hear things like, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. God is holy, which makes him perfect. Let me tell you, we want God to be holy. We want him to be perfect. That's a good thing. But we're messed up. Back here at the very, very beginning, we messed up as a people by choosing to not do what he said. In a lot of ways, you can say we were bad kids. How many of you have done something that your parents said you should do and you didn't? Can I can go down the list. How many of you have lied? How many of you have taken something that didn't belong to you? Do you know that it's not God, God is not happy and in his perfection, he doesn't want you to be jealous of somebody else? You want that ball on the playground? You want that, pe that person's shoes or their phone? That's, a, that's not godly. That's sin. And we think about things like lying I talked about. You know, when your brother or sister does something you don't like and you just want to... Anybody ever felt like that? I'm not asking if you did or not, okay? <laughs> but has anybody felt like, well, I'm just gonna, I want to... I had a student my first year ever teaching. When he'd get frustrated by somebody in the class, he, he'd go, you know what? I'm gonna punch you in your face. And let's just say his name was Paul. And I'd go, Paul, sorry. But that nature of him wanting to punch somebody in the face is the sinful nature. That is not what God can allow being perfect in his presence. Right. Amen. And we all want to go to heaven. We can't go to heaven being that way. So what Jesus come to do was he hung on this cross and said, I am going to pay for all that attitude, all the lies, everything that any of us have done, he dies on the cross and pays for that. So that when you go to heaven and say, and God's, I don't know for sure he's going to ask you this question. It doesn't say it in the Bible. But imagine he asks, why should you come to heaven? How by all the sin and stuff that you've done bad, how can, I, how can you come and spend eternity and forever with me in heaven? And you know what you're supposed to say? One word. Anybody know what that is? Jesus. Because of what he did on Good Friday. That's why it's good. Mm -hmm. So I also have a craft. How many chapels have you guys had a craft? 
So all of you online, if there's a paper right around, I want you to go ahead and grab it. So here's my paper. You guys pass these papers out. Okay. Part of this story, and this is a little more that I want to uncover or unwrap, unravel, is when Jesus died and he said those words, something happened amazing. In the temple in Jerusalem, maybe not even a half mile from where he was hanging on the cross. Remember the earthquake and the darkness and scaring everybody? But when Jesus died, the veil, the curtain, that was a symbol of separating God's presence with the world was what? Half. Torn in two. So this is our craft. I hope as many of you by now have a little piece of paper. Come Good Friday, I want you to, you can do this craft again. But I'm going to count down five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to tear the paper in half. Five, four, three, two, one. Because what Jesus did that curtain was torn, and we can go right into the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We sang a song last week. We're going to wrap up the same way. Um, everybody join in. And uh, let's, let's learn and post them at home. Are you guys singing this song along with the other songs that we're singing? That's wonderful. It's good music. Uh, let, let's, let's keep this going. You guys remember how it starts? <clears throat> Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know. Because he lives. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. So it's birthday time. Woo. Yay, let's celebrate some birthdays. So I'm going to start with St. Cloud again. All right, hopefully you're online listening. We're celebrating you guys. So uh, we're going to celebrate Julius Adambulo, Isabel McAdams, Brant Clifton, Aiden Stewart. All right. Then we have, oh, the campuses aren't mentioned on here. Angel Gillett, Calvin Coombs, and Julian Gomez. We celebrate you guys. Ariel David, Dakia Clark, Christine Diaz. And finally, North Campus, Terrence Oliver and Matthew Johns. Nice. So let's sing. We'll sing again. Come on, everybody. Let's let's pitch in. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday, God bless you. Cha cha cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Now we're going with, we're starting with our soaring eagles with Poinciana New Campus or Poinciana South. We call it different ways. Um, we're going to be recognizing you guys um, this morning. So you'll be receiving a call from um, each school secretary to find out your address for a special delivery. So I hope that you guys tune in and watch our chapel services every Wednesday. Starting with kindergarten, I have Nanami Colon and Jensen Rosado. First grade are Fredilian Perez and Isis Nieves. Second grade, Ruben Ortiz and Julian Gomez. 
third grade, Jacob Coleman, Jalice Turby, and Trinity Tirado. Fourth grade, Yadaris Ruiz and Ian Diaz. Josiah Echevarria, fifth grade, and Jirelis Camacho, fifth grade. Sixth grade, Adrian Pais and Shelly Villanueva. Miss Thomas Combo Class, Justin Ferrer and Cruz Armstrong. Miss Cordero Combo Class, Normaris Vasquez and Noelis Melendez. Seventh grade, Jada Diaz and Maya Rivera. Eighth grade, Jario Reyes and Carolina Lugo. Ninth grade, we have our twins, Christian Ramos and Brandon Ramos. Tenth grade, Sara Figueroa and Braham Santiago. Eleventh grade, Janelle Francis and Lara Reese. Last but not least, twelfth grade, we have Jacet Reyes, Christine Hernandez, and Ashanti Florentino. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Good morning. We're going to do our soaring eagles. They will soar. We're so glad to be here this morning from uh, our St. Cloud campus. We're going to start with our kindergarten teacher, with Mrs. Whiteacre, Alicia Thermatos, and Leilani Diaz. From first grade, Ms. Rose's class, we have Yaslin Maldonado and Jared Cruz. From second and third grade, Ms. Harville's class, we have Felice Lopez and Aiden Mitchell. Third and fourth grade, Ms. Gonzalez, Mrs. Gonzalez's class, we have Julius Adambulo and Jason Cordero. Fifth grade, Mr. Winger's class, we have Jose Aviles and Aiden Stewart. Our sixth grade class with Ms. Hinkson, we have Kaylee Lewis Lopez and Markel, Markel, I'm sorry, Markel Carey. Seventh grade, Mrs. Torres's class, we have Eli Morales and Ty Yano. Eighth grade, Mr. Ace's class, we have Carla Velez and Sierra Gordon. Uh, ninth and 10th grade, Mr. Hurd's class, we have Xander Estrella and Josiah Ro uh, Rios. And last but not least, again, we have uh, Mr. Babs' class, 11th and 12th grade, Ms. Bridges uh, Karstensen, and Mr. Daniel Rodriguez. God bless you and congratulations. <laughs> Amen. I'll be sharing our Soaring Eagles from the Osceola campus. I want to start off by letting you guys all know that we love and we miss you guys so much um, every day. We miss seeing your faces, but we're excited to be able to do something nice for you and give pizza to all those students that are Soaring Eagles. So start with Ms. Pagan's class. We got Jean Burt Nieves and Josiah Diaz. For Ms. Juer's class, Vanessa Sepulveda and Catalina Iglesias. Ms. Ruiz's class is R.J. Hansen and Jillian Morales. Ms. Rosario's class is Jean Diaz and Christian Mendez. For Ms. Velez's class is Shayla Santiago and Marielle Sanchez. For Mr. Vigoroa's class, Brandon Rivera and Shayla Iglesias. Ms. Rodriguez's class is C.D. Torres and Christian Diaz. For Ms. Saunders' class, Caden Padilla and Jean Paul Diaz. For Mr. Cruz class, Alexi Rivera and Grace Quinones. For Ms. Lewis Saints class, Alex Alexis Santos and TJ Oliver. From Coach Slade's class, Jerry Rosa and Milan Eastman. For Ms. Smith's class, Ryan Wurst and Kiara Albright. And then for my class is Sebastian Centeno and Sebastian Ortiz. Miss you guys. Love you. Mm -hmm. All right, well, good morning again, everyone. I'm really excited to share the Soaring Eagles with you. Um, we do really miss you. We really do. I hope that uh, your teachers are showing you and letting you know how much they miss you. Uh, we're getting excited for all the things that God has for us, so God bless you all. Soaring Eagles for the Poinciana North Campus are for kindergarten, Jackson Landor, Joshua Doyle, first grade, Glavin Romulus, yes. Elena oh. Rodriguez, Sorry. <laughs> Second grade, Kellan Reimer, Sierra Parker. Third grade, Tyler Abrams, Madison Ballester. For fourth grade, Yalitza Vasquez, Adrian Rodriguez. Fifth grade, Shirley Vital, David Solano. Sixth grade, Luigi Vital, Gianna Florival. 
Seventh grade, we have Gabriel Fernandez, Tanare Melendez, eighth grade. We have, uh, this is for Nadia Rivera's eighth grade class, Julian Pagan and Kimberly Puckett. For eighth grade for Ms. Tobin is Marielis Cruz and Zachary Leafy. Ninth grade, Johnny Elise Guzman, Kevin Durga. Tenth grade, Mr. Fernandez. We have Lucas Pinheiro, Alondra Quinones. Tenth grade, we have for Ms. Mendez class, Emily Pinheiro and Veronica Pinheiro. Eleventh grade, Sadi Arroyo, Kenneth Alisea. And twelfth grade, Isaiah Sanchez, Kamara Scott. Thanks for all your hard work, guys. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 It's been a great chapel service today amen. and all that with everything and the inclusiveness that we have across this ministry. Uh, it's just been awesome. The, uh, uh, the contacts and the parent involvement in our distant learning program yes. has been so amazing. Amen. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a it's it's awesome. That's all I'm gonna say. I can just say one. It's awesome. The uh, the relationships that are going up even over the net has caused such a, a unity. That's our chapel thing. Won't forget that. But boy, there's been some unity and there's been some 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 flowering of, of people. I mean, it's just been great. We're just so honored uh, that the Lord would allow us to have the privilege to even be a part of what's going on here. But this chapel service, we don't want to end it. We're not going to put a period. We can put a comma on this thing and just continue it on with the blessing that will continue as we go about our day today and our chapel services, which ultimately will bring us to the resurrection, uh, to the crucifixion, the resurrection we discussed. And uh, it's going to be a blessing. You want to close out with a word of prayer today? And uh, we just thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for being a part of this thing. And let's, let's just go to the Lord. Amen. Let's go to the Lord. Father, we just honor you. And Lord, in all that you do and all that you've done, and what you're continuing to do in the life of all your saints, Father God, all the people under the umbrella of the Holy Ghost, under the umbrella of this ministry, Lord God, that are affected, Father God, by what we do here and what you have allowed us to do, Father God, in ministering to our families and ministering to our students and ministering in these communities that we're engaged in. In our spheres of influence, Father God, you have placed us there for this time in order to bring a timely word of encouragement, Father, to all who are involved and engaged in what we do. We honor you so much for that, Father God. Again, the privilege of serving and being a part, Father, a small part of bringing people to know the Lord and save our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and honoring you, Father God, in all that we do. Continue to work in us, strengthen us, Father God, in all that we do so that we might go out and continue to put our hand on and be your hands and feet in bringing about your word to all who are involved. Father, we bless you. Bless us as we go today, Father God. Keep your angels encamped around us and keep your hedge of safety over all that are involved, Father God, all that are a part of what you do here, Father God, in our families, Lord God. Keep them safe. Bless them, Lord God. We give you the praise. Be careful. We give you the praise. We give you the glory and we give you the honor. That's only due to you, Father God. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Does anybody believe that? Shout amen. 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 God bless you and thank you. And we will see you soon. Amen. amen.